We are here at the Schooner Pier Complex in Biloxi, Mississippi. Some of you might remember me mentioning going to New Orleans a couple weeks ago to pick up a sailboat. Well, the sailboat is here. This is where the slip is, the dock. So I thought if the rain will hold out that we will get on board this thing and we're gonna do a little cooking on a brand new little miniature grill made for boats. So uh, stay tuned to that. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a crab. Got a little crab there. Blue crabs. There you go. Gulf Coast blue crabs. Can't get no better than that. Take care, man. What is this called right here? Luxie Stoner Pier. No, no. This building here. What is? It's got an upper terrace and all too, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, so this boat was like really filthy when we bought it. It's been sitting up a while. It's got barnacles on the bottom. It's got a lot of work. It's a, it's a project in process, but it's a good sound boat. Take some go on board here. He's already started cleaning some of the top, so it's not too bad. Got a solar panel installed on it to uh, keep the 12 volt system going. But here it is. Like I said, it just needs a little tender love and care. Sails and all that's in really good shape. So like I said, I'm hoping this rain stays away, goes away, cause it's sprinkling right now and we just don't need that. All right, I don't know how well we're going to be able to pull this cook off. We got a massive cloud that just all of a sudden erupted right on top of Biloxi here. And right now it's just a light rain, but if it goes the yellow and then red, then we're going to have a lot of downpours. We're going to have to do the grilling out here on the stern end of the boat. We're inside the cabin. We're nice and dry in here. We got a fan blowing on me. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Now this boat, you can probably tell that it definitely needs work. This thing pops way up where you can actually stand up in here, but we got some new uh, hardware to put here. We got a bunch of new things that we're adding on. Started with a solar panel, got a new tiller arm. Oh Lord, we, we don't spend a lot of money on this thing. It's a 1979 McGregor Venture, 25 foot long. And uh, they made really good boats back in that year. It's got a real thick hull on it and uh, no leaks in this thing whatsoever. Now, we did have a, a little bit of leakage around the windows here, so went in there and resealed that with a good RTV sealant. Seemed to fix the problem, and uh, it, it's a work in progress, like I said. So, anyway, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a, a cook on this thing for a YouTube video. We're going to be doing a dockside Jamaican jerk chicken wing, something real easy to do. We're going to start by cutting this half of an onion right here. All I'm going to do is just dice this up. So instead of mixing this marinade in a bowl, I'm just going to take a one gallon Ziploc and we're just going to put all the ingredients in that and mix it up well. Then we'll add the chicken wings into it later. All right, now for some garlic. Give our garlic a little smash. That always helps the peeling come right off. Now I'm not going to bore you with chopping all this up. I'm sure everybody's seen garlic minced up before. I'll just do one little quick piece here. Alright, so that was six cloves of garlic. Now I've got some green onions going in with around a half a cup of those. A half to a three quarter cup. We're going to kick things up a little bit. Jerk seasoning or jerk chicken, whatever. It normally calls for like a scotch bonnet. Can't really find those in our era, but a lot of times they are substituted with these habaneros. All right, I'm going to leave the seeds in. I'm going to leave the uh, veins in. We like it hot. So we're just going to cut these into some 
slivers and we're going to dice that up and add that to our Ziploc along with the onion, garlic, and green onion. So now we're going to add in some brown sugar. This is a free flowing type brown sugar. Two tablespoons. So instead of making your own jerk seasoning, to do that you got to buy a lot of different individual ingredients. What I always go with is the Pirate Johnny's Jerk Seasoning. It's got everything already in there that you need. It's already pre-mixed and it's excellent stuff. I'm going to go in with roughly three tablespoons of this, which is going to be the majority of this bottle. All right now we're going to go in with around two tablespoons of oil. This is canola oil. One, two. How do you like my measuring spoon? All right, now we're going in with three tablespoons of soy sauce. All right, so now you want to take the juice of three limes. You want to squeeze that into your marinade. Make sure you get all that juice. I'm trying my best not to dirty up a bunch of utensils and all, so we're taking the easy route out using plastic bags and just massaging it with our hands. It's going to have the same end result. No spoons to wash. Got our first chicken wing done. All I'm doing is taking this piece right here is useless, this little tip, and I always get rid of that. Just cut it off. Now here I'll start an incision right about where I think the joint is. Then I'm going to break the joint like that and then finish the cut just like so there's your drumette there's your flat I'm gonna get all these done we'll be right back all right now even though our jerk seasoning has salt in it I'm still gonna add a little bit of salt this is a Jacobson uh, kosher sea salt excellent stuff we're just gonna take and apply a little bit more on this chicken as well as some cracked black pepper before it hits the marinade So they just go into your marinade. These things can marinate overnight or as little as two hours and that's what we're going with is a two hour marinade. This is the little grill I was telling you about. This is going to be perfect for my son. Now this is made by a company called Magna. Did I say that right? Magma. Okay. And I misled you earlier. This actually is not intended for a boat but all their other grills are because they have hardware that actually attaches to your railing and uh, you can spin them around, adjust them, all that. This just sits here. This is actually, what's it called, a uh, beach fire. This is actually intended on going to like the beach or whatever and doing a little grilling. But guess what? We're going to use it on a boat because we're at the dock, it's calm you could use this in any anchorage where you're anchored off in calm weather. Once you get through with it, you simply let it cool off and then you put it back in your storage, which is right below where it's sitting. These wings are already smelling incredible. Now I've got a lot of them, so it's even possible I might have to do these in a couple of batches. I hope not because they will take just a little bit to do. This is a gas grill runs off propane which is convenient the little green canisters I don't think I would ever use charcoal on a vessel no I wouldn't not real smart well look at there I had room for more that's all of them let's close the lid we'll check on these momentarily all right so as you can see we're getting pretty close this will probably be next to the last time I flip them they're not where I want them yet they have really got to get black. I don't mean burnt. I meant they have to get a lot more char than what they have on them. But what I am going to do is put more marinade. Now what I just done is I took the marinade and I run it through my Ninja, which made it thick. All right, made it real thick because I really want it to cling to it at this point and really concentrate that flavor on the surface of this skin and really start cooking that in. Yeah, we're getting close, but we're not there yet. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it one more time after that. Then we're just going to let them finish off. No more marinade. Nice and thick now. 
Oh yeah. This is going to be some spicy wings, but hey, they don't call them hot wings for nothing, do they? This is my son, Derek. He has been my cameraman for over two years on the Smoker Ribs channel. He's getting ready to start his own channel, Coastal Boy. He already has CoastalBoy.com, and it's all about this kind of life. Living on sailboats, sailing the seas, fishing, anything related to sea and ocean. You want to say a few words, Derek? If y'all want to keep up with uh, my daily blogs, I've been uh, I've been writing my blogs every day. I post them once a week on CoastalBoy.com. I also include photographs that I shoot down here along the Gulf Coast and uh, various locations that I travel to. Uh, you can also purchase prints there, or you can just read the blogs. But the videos are coming soon. I will have the first video out by the end of the week. Uh, matter of fact, I'm leaving Wednesday morning around 2.30 in the morning to head to a place called Horn Island. Just It's about 12 miles off the coast of Mississippi to shoot the remainder of that first video. And then uh, when I get back home Wednesday night, I'll be editing it and have it ready to go live Friday. And from now on, every Friday will be a live video released every Friday. All right, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, you see that char? Remember the brown sugar that went into this marinade? That's the fruits of that right there, man. These look excellent, and they are done. Still nice and plump. I'm going to put these over in a container. We'll meet you inside the cabin. We're going to do a hot taste test. All right, I'm going to call this the uh, pirate wing. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that's got some heat. Right off the bat. Mmm. It's good though, ain't it? I taste the Caribbean flavors coming through, but whoo, it's got some heat. That's a Coastal Boy style wing there now. Here we go. Oh man, that was already heat hot from the grill. Spices are kissing the tongue. Oh my God, these are good. Love stuff like this absolutely fantastic flavors i hope you give this one a try go over there and check out pirate johnny's website piratejohnnies.com get you some of this jamaican jerk seasoning this is killer till next time smoke your ribs